Hi there and uh, welcome to MS-DOS Game Reviews where I play ancient games in an emulator and record the results for posterity. Basically I want to show what gaming was like way back when. And way back when, in this case, is 1988 and the game I'm taking a quick look at today is called Quadralian. And, uh, as mentioned before, released in 1988, and it's a 144 kilobyte download. Publisher is Logotron, which I've never heard of before, and uh, developer is Astral Software. So it's a bit of an obscure title. So uh, in the description, it says it's a very unique action puzzle hybrid that combines robotic programming with dexterity. And uh, it carries on a bit, and then your screenshots here are in lovely CGA mode. And uh, there's not much more to it, no, not many comments. And then when I when I played the game, I uh, was spending quite a bit of time figuring out just what to do. So uh, I actually went online, found a manual. And uh, as usual with the games at the time, it starts with a little bit of a story. It gives you a backstory. And uh, yeah, if you if you <clears throat> manage to find the manual, you can read through all of that. And then it tells you the objectives of the game. You have a double mission to prevent a complete breakdown of Astra and find and destroy the Quadralian Mother, which is pretty standard fare for video games. So... Uh, First mouse operated screen is a selection screen. This enables you to choose your levels, droids, and chamber, enter chamber. And uh, when you start, all the levels are sealed except for level one, and you have to reach a target score for that level. And then you get a given security code for the next level. So the game doesn't have save games as such, it just gives you codes to access the next level once you've played enough, once you've beaten a level. So this, this was fairly common for the time as well. And then you have a selection of droids and there's six and you can choose two to deploy at any time. And then you can pick which droids and each droids have pluses and minuses. So you can change them, operating them. And then there's each level has six chambers increasing in complexity clockwise from the top. So this is important to know. And you have controls. If you select F1, your droid will move with your cursor keys. If you press F2, you can just rotate your droid. And F3, pan the screen. And then you can use the directional keys. And then there's buttons for a Geiger scanner, which I haven't found yet. Swap active droid. And it gives you gives you the keys basically. Tells you about consoles, which I've managed to figure out on my own. You can quit, recharge, and scrub. So you run around getting your droid all mucked up, and then you have to scrub it down. And this this is how you get the points. And then uh, there's a legend shows you everything that uh, is not radioactive. Tells you about the environment, and then uh, you have a status points table, special objects. So, uh, there are liquid coolant barrels. These will reduce the temperature when pushed down the chutes. Some magnetically, may be magnetically contaminated, indicated by color. You have energy shells, which will replenish asters operating when pushed down the chutes. So it's a little bit of a soccer bun like that game. There's explosive charges, uh, information consoles, a magnetic track, utility chutes. Only take coolant barrels and energy cells. Geiger scans an earthing box, so you find one of these, it kills your droid. Extra detonators, lighting point. Uh, okay, so hints and tips. And then there's some, some little pictures. So I've got to go see what a coolant barrel looks like. 
So that, that's the manual, just a quick overview as well. And then when I unpack the game, I see that there's a VGA version, so that's what we're going to play today. And here we go. So I'm going to say yes to the mouse and then F1 for English. Oh, and well I should have looked at where to disable the music. Mm. Oh, no. right. How do I kill this music? Ah, music on off six and seven. Entered as six, seven. Oh dear. Okay. They lied to me. It was F eight and F seven. Okay. So Oh, I'm gonna have to restart this thing. Let's start again. Play it. Skip the menu, no to the mouse, F1 for English, kill the music, and here we go. So, entering with Jack and Droid to a scooter. Okay, now I can move around. Um, spacebar eats the radioactive things, and you can see I'm getting a little bit of points when I'm doing that. So F2, you can just turn your droid, it doesn't move, it doesn't use energy, F1 moves it, and here are one of the consoles, and you can scrub your droid, and uh, it takes a couple of seconds, and uh, you can also recharge it, so it takes it up to 3000, right, so there's uh, three Cursors here in the back, and there's TMP, ENT, and ECY, whatever that means. So, um, just getting rid of all the radioactive things. And you can blow stuff up as well with Enter in my case. Now let's go find a console. Oh dear. Mm. So yeah, your droid uses quite a bit of energy. Uh, scrubbing it again. Do 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 do. Space. Uh, give it a quick charge. And then if you look at status F4, it's jack, it's all average, and its total energy is 19. So uh, it does have limitless energy. But uh, I'm back in the game here. scrub again so I can see the temperature rising in the background so I better go find one of those shoots that they were talking about oh dear hey Where am I? 
Alrighty. There's another little console. And now let's talk to it. Scrubbing again. You can see my temperature or temperature of the station rising rapidly. So that might be a problem. I don't know what that does. But there is a shoot. So let's get in there. Decontaminate my way out of this. Push it a little bit like Sokoban. And uh, I think these are the coolant barrels. Let's see that temperature. Yeah, that is that is the coolant barrel. So if you've played Sokuban, there's a lot of this that's familiar. You can't pull anything. But uh, you can push things around. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to uh, get as many points as possible. And uh, let's go scrubbing again. <coughs> so I think that 6,000 over there, that is the... Uh, Score I need to get, isn't that right? Let's let's take a look at status F four no F six points table. Okay, that just tells you the points for each one of the things you get. And uh, then there's let's take a look at status again. Total energy nine okay and uh, F five for legends. So you have a repeller attractor, mega repeller, mega attractor, liquid cooling barrel, energy shell, explosive charge, information console, utility chutes, all these other little things. Okay. So that's all that you see there. And then down at the bottom, there's a code A92F. Target score 10,000. So I'm nowhere close. And up, push things out of the way. Oh. I think at some point I'm, uh, I'll be out of moves on this level. So let's. S ah, okay, yeah. So I was fully, fully contaminated there. And uh, I'll give it a quick little recharge. And uh, we're, we're back in the game. So this one I want to get, that one I want to get. Oh. I'm, I'm emulating a fairly slow machine here. And sometimes it just skips ahead. to do I 
Okay, I think that just shows you how the game moves. Okay. How do I get into that little hole? Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody, somebody needs to clean this out then. Uh, scrubbing. Do, 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 do. So, I'm still a ways off my score that I need. And uh, just blow that up, get this. That's the janitor scrubbing, scrubbing away. That temperature is rising dangerously. Okay. F1 again. And uh, I think I might almost be finished with this level. Get in there, kill that. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's good. Decontaminate again. Do 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 do. So uh, yeah, that's that's one level. And uh, let's uh, recharge this bad boy. And uh, say this. Oh. Get in here, clean that out. So that's everything on this level, I think. And here we are, back in here, scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. And then space, recharge. Um, I think if you press escape again, oh, it just gives you that. Level one, select droids. Okay, so select module F4. So F1 I've cleaned, let's start with F2. So that's selected. I said F10 for info. What is that? Electrical store. Okay. So I've never been here before. And uh, space level one electrical energy storage, and I can enter it. So there's my little. Happy droid, temperature are fairly low, and as promised, it looks a little bit more complicated. And so you move through the base, cleaning things. Oh dear. Okay. And let's reset my score. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So you have to get the score on one, or how do you how do you exit? Yeah, maybe maybe I should study the manual a little bit more closely. But uh, that's the gist of the game. I uh, had hoped to show you 
finishing a level, but uh, that's just going to take too long. So, Quadralian. Is it fun to play? It's okay, I guess. Um, It uh, certainly is a little bit of a puzzling game if you have a lot of time on your hands. This this could be for you. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm having fun. But uh, that doesn't mean anything really. Uh, I'm, I'm easily entertained, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it here and uh, say thank you for watching. Hopefully you're liking this little video. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Hopefully that's got a little bit more exciting graphics. Uh, even though VJ graphics is... Uh, Bit of a treat at this time. Uh, most of the games are CGA graphics. Uh, so this this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a treat for me is having more than uh, and just the old four colours of CGA. But uh, I also seem to be fairly stuck right now. How do I get to the other side? Interesting. In any case, uh, I thank you again for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, goodbye.